Hey, welcome back. So this time we're going to go over objective two from today's lesson. If you need some refresher on it, here we go. We're going to describe the basic principles involved in operant conditioning. Now, we've already, before jumping into this, made sure we have mastery of the law of effect. So when I offer a reinforcer, I'm increasing the likelihood of that behavior. If I offer punishment, I'm decreasing the likelihood of that behavior. So we're going to talk about these a little bit. A reinforcer can come in one of two ways. It can be a positive reinforcer where you're adding something, and that's what we traditionally think of. If we go back to uh, Thorndike's puzzle box and I'm offering the food to that cat, that's an example of positive reinforcing. I can also have a negative reinforcer where negative in our terminology in psychology means removing. I'm subtracting something. So in this case, I'm subtracting something that you don't like. Maybe you're sitting in a room and I'm blaring Nickelback into the room and once you leave, that's over and you don't have to deal with it. I nag you and nag you and nag you and now you finally go out and rake leaves in the yard and now the nagging has stopped. So I'm getting rid of something that you don't like once you're out. Maybe the box is full of water and the cat wants out because it wants away from the water. That would be the negative reinforcer being removed once the behavior was accomplished. Now our other one is punishment and punishment can come in negative or positive forms as well. Now punishment is different, it occurs after a behavior. So our example in class today was if I wanted to keep the cat from escaping the box. Maybe every time it came out I swatted it with a, sw a fly swatter. That would offer a positive punishment. I'm taking away, or rather, I'm uh, doing something to the cat that it doesn't like in order to take away the likelihood of that behavior occurring. You could also have negative punishment. I have a daughter. If I take away something that she likes, that's me as a parent using a negative punishment. Now, one of the things we have to consider for future lessons is weighing the benefits of reinforcers versus punishment, especially in clinical settings or when we're applying them to humans. There's ethical questions when we want to use punishment, and there's also effectiveness uh, when we're talking about punishment. Does it really work like a reinforcer would? Consider your school's discipline systems. Maybe you have a PBIS system where there are rewards offered for quality uh, behavior. Think about those, and the research behind them is going to guide some future lessons for behavior management in psychology. If we understand that there are reinforcers, that there is punishment, and that these are used to strengthen a behavior, making it more likely, or weaken a behavior, make a behavior less likely, then we have a pretty good handle on the fundamentals that we're looking at in operant conditioning.